Hi friends, it's Duran. I'm here for a quick update because I know that this angle sucks for you, but it looks so good on me. <laughs> okay, so look how big my boobs look. It's crazy. This is what I look like in my car. It's me. Good old Drea. Anyways, I am here for a quick update. Let's just do this quick, right? Let's make it quick. Um, let's see. My name is Dre. I'm 31 years old. I am 5'8". I had vertical sleeve gastrectomy or VSG surgery on April 20th, 2015 with Dr. Hamilton at the Bariatric Center of Kansas City. Highest recorded weight was 326 pounds. That was two weeks prior to my surgery. Day of surgery, I was 305. I hit my pie in the sky goal of losing 163 pounds, which led me to be 163 pounds one year post-op. And I've been in maintenance ever since then, between 161 and 171. As of last Saturday, I was 165. Um, and I did see 170 on the scale at the doctor's the other day, but it was the afternoon and whatever, and I was eating my hands off. So this is the one thing I'll tell you kids. The first year after having surgery, focus, keep focused. Lose as much weight as you can the first year. Once you get in maintenance and your body will let you know when you're in maintenance, whenever you stop, you know, you'll hit like an all-time low number and then you'll bounce up about, you know, five pounds, I think. I think my lowest number is 158. Then I bounced up to 161 and all I saw was 161, 163, 161 for a good couple of months. And then I was like, oh, I'm in maintenance. I'm done. This is it. This is what you get. This is... This is it, Drea. I'm very happy with where I'm at. Um, I like the way that I'm proportioned. I like the way that I fit in clothes. I love everything about it, except for the fact is that I don't like my boobs. Um, and I don't like my stomach area. Um, and my butt could possibly use a little bit of work, too. Best features. Face legs best features boom that's it so the rest of my body um is something that i plan on hopefully addressing next year late this year i don't know depends on finances um unfortunately i have to come out of pocket for that kind of stuff so we'll see right we will see and i'll probably more than likely put it on youtube um so first year focus. Focus on you. Don't be doing what everybody else does. You need to stop thinking that if you eat just smaller portions of your favorite foods, chips, cakes, hell, even soda, that you'll be able to get to your goal. You need to stay focused the first year. Please do that for yourself. You didn't do all this shit to your body just for you to F it up, right? We didn't do that. We did it so that we could be a healthier, happier you. And I will tell you from the other side, it's really good. It's really good. So focus, get to your goal. That is your goal for the first year. Not everybody loses all of their weight, excess body weight. Um, not everybody does that if you lose 75% of your excess body weight and I think I went over this before if you lose 75% of your excess body weight that's amazing that's well above what they think that you're going to do really they're looking at about 55 to 60 percent of your excess body weight I was able to lose 97 98 percent um i believe that they wanted me they actually were happy if i said i was like gonna be 180 and i'm at 165 so it worked out pretty well for me i'm very happy where where i'm at i'm not in an overweight cat actually i think i'm like right on the overweight 163 was leading me to normal doesn't really matter i'm not 326 pounds anymore nor will i ever see that number ever again on the scale. I refuse. I am able 
to keep my weight off by doing low carb or keto or the ketogenic diet. It's worked out really well for me. My body does not really react well to carbs. And carbs is where what got me to 326 pounds. The amount of what I put in my body and also the fact that whenever I eat carbs, I'm retaining water and I wasn't working out and all that kind of great stuff in between. But I have found out that whenever I do combine a little bit of working out and eating no carbs or low carbs, not no carbs, low carb, that my body responds very well. So you have to do what works for you. You have dieted in the past. You know what works. Go back to that. It's easier. Way easier. Um, I would not say that this was an easy way out because right now I'm having to deal with... Actually, it's not easy whatsoever. I was very focused the first year. I had to pass up so much shit um, when it came down to food um, because of the fact that I just knew what I wanted to do and what I wanted to be and where I wanted to be in the next months at one year. I knew I wanted to be here. I knew I wanted this so bad. And now that I'm here, couldn't be happier. Social life is back. Having to try to balance social life and home life that's been a bit little difficult for me but I'm working on it I'm definitely working on it thankfully I have a husband that is phenomenal and I couldn't ask for a better mate and soul and partner and life I mean seriously he is amazing and I am very lucky to have that one thing I will say is to definitely discuss all of your feelings be open about everything with your spouse as much as you're going through shit, they're going through the shit with you, okay? You have to live together. You have to talk. You have to communicate with each other, okay? Don't just sit there and be like, oh gosh, I'm going through some mind fucks right now. I'm just going to go through them by myself. No, this is a partnership. You have to go in there with them and be open about it and say, I don't know, honey. I don't know what's going on with me. You know, this is how I'm feeling and see what they're feeling, you know, um, that's just what's worked out for me. And I feel like not a lot of people talk to each other as much anymore. Um, so thankfully, open line of communication is the key when it comes down to after having surgery and going through all this bullshit. Um, and I've been very fortunate to have that. <sighs> so that's really all I wanted to talk about this time around. And I will be with you guys soon. I'll see you soon. <laughs> All right. I'll talk to you later. Bye.